I'm going to show you a $100 chair. I'm going to show you a $2,000 chair. And I'm going to show you a bunch of chairs in between. The one thing that all of these chairs have in common is that they're all good chairs and they all have a good headrest to go with them. My first pick is going to be the cheapest option on this list, which is the Tacova Ergonomic Chair. This chair is regularly sold for $299, but often is on sale for as low as $150. There are usually multiple listings on Amazon for the same exact chair with different prices, so do a little digging before you just buy it for $299. The reason why I like this chair is because the chair itself is one of the best options I've found in this price range, and the headrest is also good, especially for that price. The material is soft, and you sink into it a bit, making it comfortable. It also has good flexibility with height and tilt adjustment. The one downside is that there is nothing to keep it from pulling out of the chair, so if you do pull it up too high, you'll just pull it right out of the backrest. It goes back in easily, but it is kind of annoying if you do it. Other than that, there's not much to complain about with this headrest, and it's a good chair for the price range. This isn't the most well-built chair, but still a good value in my opinion. My next pick was supposed to be my best pick for under $500, but this was a tough one, just because I don't think there are very good options in the $300 to $500 range, and the truth is, is that the other chair I was debating between for my under $300 pick is a better option than the $300 to $500 choice. So I'm just going to give you another lower-priced pick here, which is the Clatina Millette. When this chair first got to us, I was really high on it, and it was my pick for the best chair under $300 for quite a while. I've come down on that opinion a little bit just because the overall build quality is lower and because the seat depth isn't great for tall people, but the headrest is top tier. This truly is one of the best headrests I've used on any chair for any price. The headrest is well padded and soft. It's super adjustable and very comfortable while relaxing. While I like the Tacova chair better overall, the Clatina headrest is definitely a tier above the Tacovas. When we jump up to the $700 and under price range, we do see some better options, and my pick here is going to be the OM Yes chair. Overall, the chair itself is good. It's very adjustable, and I think it has a very comfortable seat, good arms, and a pretty supportive backrest. While the chair itself doesn't feel quite as solid as I would like for this price range, the components are still a big jump in quality compared to my previous two picks. When we look at the headrest, it's unique because it's highly adjustable, but it features more of a flat design instead of a curved design. The massive adjustment ranges make it great for short and tall people. It's also versatile enough to use in multiple different positions. There's enough padding to make it feel nice and soft, and overall, I think it's very comfortable to use and that most people will really like it. For $1,000 and under, I'm going with the Mavix M9. This is technically a gaming chair, but it's basically an ergonomic office chair with a gaming skin, and the headrest is one of my favorite things about this chair. It's designed like a mesh headrest, but it has PU leather instead of mesh. It still has that suspended feeling mesh provides, but without the coarse texture that comes with most mesh headrests. I find this to be really comfortable, and it doesn't get as warm as a lot of padded headrests do. The M9 also has good adjustments. The height range is very generous, and the tilt allows a wide range of people to use the headrest at different recline angles comfortably. The adjustments are also easy to do, and the headrest still feels solid and holds its position very well. The rest of the chair is solid as well. I think it has a comfortable seat, supportive backrest, and I really like the recline on this chair paired with the independent back angle adjustment. The one miss for me is the arms, just because the adjustments are a bit lackluster, but this is still a nice option that has a very good headrest. Jumping up to $1,500 and under will get you the only headrest that we've ever ranked as S tier. The Neutral Posture 8000 has the best headrest I've used to date. Everything it does is top of the line. The headrest is large and well padded. It's soft, but not so soft that you sink way in and get hot. The shape allows you to use it in the curve of your neck or against the back of your head. It also has an adjustment package that is unmatched. It has three adjustment points, and because it pivots from so many places and each one offers an almost unlimited range, you can move this headrest in a ton of different spots. This is one of the few headrests that allow you to use it in a position 
flush with the backrest, which is great for recline positions, or you can put it in front of the backrest to make it supportive while sitting upright and tasking at your computer. The other headrests I've shown so far can't really do that. Yes, you could scoot way forward and force yourself to work in a recline position, but it doesn't really feel natural. The rest of the chair is also pretty solid as well on the 8000. The seat is comfortable, the arms are arguably S-tier due to their incredible adjustments and soft padded arm caps. I don't love the back just because it's a bit rigid to me, but the headrest may make up for that for a lot of you. My pick for an unlimited budget was honestly the toughest one to make simply because my favorite chairs either don't have a headrest or don't have a good one. Examples being the Hayworth Fern and Steelcase Leap. These are two of my favorite chairs, but I hate the headrests on both and would never recommend them. This is the case with most of the best chairs, simply because headrests are not a focus for brands like Miller Knoll, Steelcase, and Hayworth. This is because a chair doesn't technically need a headrest to be ergonomic, and often they can take away from the chair. I think that most people assume that an office chair headrest will be useful most of the time, but this usually isn't the case. Most headrests are only useful when reclined back a certain distance, and a lot of time you can't use the computer when reclined this far. For this reason, my pick is an aftermarket product, the Atlas headrest paired with the Aeron Remastered. The Atlas is one of the best headrests I've used. It has a large surface area, comfortable mesh, and an adjustment package that can compete with the 8000 chair. It adjusts up and down, in and out, and it tilts. The in and out adjustment though is what really makes it stand out to me because this feature allows you to use the headrest at any position from fully upright to fully reclined. Pair this with the recline on the Aeron and it makes it an amazing combo. While I don't love the Aeron seat, this is still an A tier combination for me. The headrest is expensive at almost $200, but because it's useful all of the time when in the chair, I think it's worth it.